Hello everyone, Pallytime here. Welcome back to Heroes of the Storm. I guess it's getting late enough that I actually need to turn a light on, but we're not going to do it right now. We are going to be playing some Chen Storm Stout. Uh, this has been requested a lot because in the past I have said that Chen is a character that I enjoy very, very much. Um, the only problem is he doesn't quite keep up in a lot of ways with the current roster of warriors and uh, he is a little bugged with his Q. We're going to be talking about that today. If we don't win, I won't be surprised. Let's go ahead and give it a try, though. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves on the haunted mines. Um, normally on Chen, I would recommend going for Regeneration Master. Uh, just because he does give himself his own shield, so he's able to sit in that shield and regenerate quite a bit of health. On this map, it may not be the best decision, but I think I'm still going to go for it anyway. And we're just going to have to actually really try hard to get those regen globes, which historically I've been really bad at. So uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to go... We should have four top, honestly. As of right now, we only have two top, and they're the two lowest dealing damage dealing characters in this game. The friendly team, Nazebro, Chen, Tychus, Raynor, and Murd, and the enemy team, Leoric, Vala, Murky, Tychus, and the Butchers. So neither team has a support, which is always a little scary. Uh, you honestly should just fall back, because he can charge you now, and it's going to hurt. Hey, what do you know? All right, I'm going to try to move in the way to body... No, you should keep falling back. Falling back is still what you should do, just for the record. There you go. Uh, I actually could probably kill off the Butcher here. Let's go ahead and fly in with our kick, and there we go. Now what we do is we sit in here and we drink with our shield, and then we kick back over to a minion in the lane, and we just walk away because I'm a boss. What's up? Okay, so Chen is based around the idea of using his giant keg that he carries around with him for nourishment. He expends his nourishment when he is attacking stuff, and then needs to regain it by drinking. What am I talking about? His mana is based off of a drinking mechanic. That's what we're talking about. Uh, my Q ability is a flying kick. This is what I used to escape certain death moments ago by uh, jumping to a minion for safety. Basically, it allows me to jump on top of a target, deal some damage, and basically put me in range of them. Uh, we're going to have to drink again. My W ability is keg smash. Keg smash, quite simply, just throws a keg out, and that will drench a person in a liquid and also slow them down. It doesn't do much damage. I mean, a very, very, very small amount of damage. But the idea is you're coating them in brew and then you breathe fire on them with your E ability. Your E ability, Breath of Fire, will ignite the brew that is now bestowed upon the target and will allow you to deal damage over time to them. There we go. Taking down the Butcher yet again. Yet again. The mines are opening in three seconds, and we do not have a sippy cup, so we're going to be relying on our regeneration from Regeneration Master. I'm going to go for this small camp first, just because I think I can handle it. We're going to have to do a lot of drinking in between and then just breathe fire. What's up? That's working. That's working. Uh, I did mention that Chen was a little buggy, and this is something that his developers have already spoken about. His Q ability will sometimes take you to a target. This is your kick. It will sometimes take you to a target, but then proceed to deal no damage, or perhaps even apply a slow that you've talented for to said target, which obviously sucks a lot. We're going to go for Amplified Healing uh, for a few reasons. We, we're going to need Sustain, and this is going to give us that Sustain. I am sitting here drinking, trying to get my full brew meter back. Looks like we are going to be forcibly kicked out of these mines, and I am totally okay with that. Please get that regeneration orb. Fantastic. Tychus looking like he wants to follow me to the ends of the earth. But well, we could just jump in and drink, and I don't think he can push through my shield at all. This is our active trait that we that we have to use. This restores brew to us, but also creates a shield, as you can see. Uh, pretty good ability, all things considered. Pretty damn good ability. In most 1v1 scenarios, the person will not be able to break through their through your shield, unless they hit you with some kind of stun or displacement ability, like Tychus can do here with his bomb. So as you can see, when that happens, we do run into a bit of trouble. Luckily, he already used his bomb, so he won't be able to snipe me over the tower. And with regener or Amplified Healing, excuse me, we do benefit more from those uh, sippy cups than we would normally. Don't cap right away. 
Okay, we're on the same page. Good. Looks like we have some competent players on our team. I'm happy about this. I'm happy about this. Um, the enemy murky ha- Ah! Uh, whew. Oh, almost capped it. The enemy Murky has uh, scouted us doing this, but looks like he's going to be pressured away. I don't know if he has an egg down or not yet. The only reason I decided to stay with Zebra was because we were scouted. I want to make sure we don't lose this uh, to the enemy team ganking. Muradin, once again, is being chased by the enemy team. He is going to hop over the wall and hopefully make it out of there. We are in a position where we could follow through if they continue to walk this direction. Let's just go ahead and jump in on Leoric here. He's going to get away. That's fine. And I believe it would be in our best interest to push with our golem. A great zombie wall is going to lock down the butcher again. And we're going to hop in and take him down. Very nicely done. Leoric now engaging on me. Uh, I'm on the wrong side of this wall. So we're just going to sit here and we're going to drink. And then we're going to use our Q to get out. What's up? We're Chen Storm Stout. We can do fancy things like that. And then I'm just going to sit back here and I'm going to keep drinking because we want to make sure that our health regen is not impeded by anything. Uh, at level 7, we are going for Brewmaster's Balance. This means that when we are at high brew like we are right now, our health regeneration is going to be increased, as you can already see is happening. We are flying up in health right now. And again, Amplified Healing does help this heal for more. And then if we get low on brew, which trust me is very easy to do, it will increase our movement speed. So it allows us to have a little bit more mobility as well. Uh, looks like both golems were pretty underwhelming. Not much was done there. Uh, Leoric potentially getting low on health here. Looks like the Butcher may be charging in on us. Yes, he is. Going in on Jim Rayner, but it was a little too deep. We're just going to keep drinking, stay healthy. Our Tychus was completely annihilated by the enemy uh, Leoric. Here, I'm going in on Vala. Not much of a follow-up. We're just poking at her, and that's fine. Here comes the Butcher. We need to switch over to him. I am going to be picking up the slow on my Q just so we can help targets get away from the Butcher. I'm also thinking uh, the Barrel is no longer the most popular ultimate. It was for quite some time. I'm not sure what changed to, to uh, shift that dynamic. But um, I do believe that I will be going for the Barrel so I could just help protect our squishies when the Butcher charges in on him, because that's going to be one of the biggest obstacles that we face. Uh, the Butcher is great at killing other assassins, and we don't have a support. We just have a lot of assassins. Granted, Nazebro is a specialist, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, we can assume the brand is going to be coming out on me. Actually, there it is, there it is. So we're just going to dip into the mines, make him waste his brand, and then pop back up. Here we go. Pop it back up. What's up? Hello, friends. Uh, he's charging me. I'm not that worried about it because, yet again, he does not have the brand. But we are facing the problem that Leoric does a lot of percentage health damage and we are a tank, which means Leoric is actually very good versus me. That being said, I feel like we're playing okay. We have 10 stacks of Regeneration Master. We can get another one really quick if we wanted to, but I'm just, just going to hop into the mines really quick. Uh, looks like two members of our team did die and the enemy team is going to have a is going to have their heroic abilities moving into this, which obviously is a bit of a problem. Um, I know they're pinging me to run away, but, you know, we have to get skulls. That's something we have to do. Also, there's a weed eater going on outside now. Right outside my window. So enjoy that. Enjoy, enjoy that fun. Uh, I'm just going to die here. Even if I jumped away, the butcher could have gone after me and taken me down. I have one day to record. I have one day to record. Why did this have to happen today? This could have happened tomorrow and I would have been on vacation. I wouldn't even be here. <sighs> Maybe I could edit this out. I'm not sure. Anyway, I apologize. We are going to pick up the Wanderer's Keg. Again, the idea is we are going to use this to peel for our allies. Try to keep the enemy butcher off of our allies. That being said, our entire team just suicided into the enemy base. Entire team. Or not into the enemy base, but into the golem. Uh, I, we did not do well on skulls there at all. And they all gave up their entirety of their health bar uh, to die for absolutely no skulls. So not a good play there at all. Not a good play there at all. Alright, well, we can start to cap this for the friendly team. Murky's going to scout this yet again. He may actually bring his allies over this time since they know that they have 
the you know advantage here. Uh, we do have our ultimates now, which we didn't when the mines phased happened. And we are going to cap that at pretty much the perfect time. And we are definitely going to have to defend. Uh, Leoric already pushing in pretty deep, though. We need to make sure that we're focusing the right stuff. That was actually a really good haymaker, putting Leoric way out of position. He is just going to creepy walk away, though. And there's not much we can do. I'm being forced to drink here. Let's get out of the way of that. That's done. All right, Tychus is being octograb hugged by the enemy team. We have to disengage already, which is not what I wanted to do. Um, we potentially could have killed the Butcher there if my placement was a little better. I could have put him in the corner, but the idea was we were trying to pull for our allies, just create space for them, and essentially I did do that. Now Nazebro is using the Ravenous Spirit over the wall. Can we take down Leoric? Yes, we can, and now I'm moving in just for body blocks on Tychus. Unfortunately, we are going to have to leave very quickly. Once again, using my Q on a minion to get some distance here. Let's go ahead and drink up so we're regenerating health faster. And then grab the sippy cup as well. This guy is still pushing into our base pretty aggressively. Vala coming back in, though, with no health may be the mistake of the game. Uh, maybe. I'm actually relatively confident with my ability here. So we're just going to keep drinking. Uh, Tychus should be long gone by now, actually. Now we're in a bit of a pickle. I thought for some reason that Vala went for multi-shot. Vala actually went for healing with her right clicks. So I play, I played right into their advantage there, which was my fault entirely. My fault entirely. Uh, Leoric is once again spotted by our giant. Can we make anything happen here? It's not looking too good. Uh, we only have about a quarter of a keep left. So that's a bit of a problem. Our golem almost got theirs down, so, you know, we do have that advantage. Uh, what little of an advantage that may be. We do have barrel, just in case the enemy team goes for a hard engage. And there we go. Leoric using his ultimate there. We're going to hop in here on Vala and just try to body block her a little bit. Here comes the butcher going in deep on me. That is going to be the end of him. And let's go in here on Vala and see if we can make anything happen. For instance, my Q right there. We leaped in, we did no damage, and we did not end up behind the target like we were supposed to. That's what was supposed to happen. You kick through a target. We were supposed to go behind the target, and that did not happen. I think I'm going to go for the shield on allies at level 13. Whenever I drink out of the, out of the keg, it's going to do a little bit of an AoE. And then anyone around me is also going to get that shield. Um, it's not a lot of support, but considering we don't have a support at all, it could be very, very, very beneficial. I'm going to go back to middle and make sure that I'm getting these regeneration orbs that I need. And then I'll join our team in whatever they're trying to do right now. The mines are opening. We need to gather together. We need to stay unified. We have to stay unified. All right. The enemy team overextended here. We could definitely make something happen. The Butcher is going in on our Zebro. Uh-oh, the Octograb is going to secure that death, unfortunately. We can maybe take down Leoric, but no, that is not the case. Now, the mines are open. I'm moving in. We need to go for the big camp. The enemy Vala is up at the top. It looks like they want to do a gank. I'm okay with that. All right, let's do it. We have to watch out for the Furnace Blast, so I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to drink. Of course, that was not enough because we are Chen Stormstout, after all. Dipping out of the mines to try to stop the Butcher from healing and then just waiting for him to leave. Uh, I think I can... I think Tychus is coming back out. Here we go. We're going to chase after Tychus. Going to drink. Going to keep moving, keep moving. Okay, he is zoned back. He's zoned back. Okay. Get this region orb and then head back in. The team is bitching and moaning about something. Not too surprised. Uh, the enemy Vala can trade with me because of all the healing she can do. We do have to be very mindful of that. And it looks like the enemy team, once again, is pretty far ahead on Skulls. Um, we may have to use our barrel just to disengage here. Um, <sighs> pushing this is a pretty bad idea, but I don't see much else for us to actually do here. We have to put pressure on them somehow. Going in right now to die to the golem would not do anything for us. The enemy team could actually probably win with this, though, which is a... It's, <laughs> that's a problem, obviously. But we can at least get a couple keeps and be on the same talent here as them. I am going to increase the damage of my next basic attack. 
Uh, maybe not, actually. Okay, we have to go back. We have to defend. We have to defend. Uh, I'm going to get the slow on my kick. Again, all of the damage is going to be coming from our Nazebo and our two Space Marines over here. So if I can help them secure kills in any way, we need to make that happen. Um, we are going to drink out of our keg. Just get that AoE shield going on. It looks like the enemy team may be engaging here very soon. We still don't have everyone here, and I don't know why. I don't know why. Uh, looks like our top lane is going to be pushed by a siege giant. Whatever, not a big deal. Uh, if he's really intending on staying here, we can just kill him. The AoE shield, more than enough to keep our Raynor alive. Now the Ravenous Spirit from the Zebro trying to go in here and deal some damage. I'm just going to try to zone. Again, that's been my goal since the very beginning, and I don't know how well I've been doing at it. But just going to try to zone for the friendly team. Keep these guys at bay. Get out of here. See, once again, my kick did no damage. I did not fly through the target, and it did not apply my slow. Uh, the developers are very much aware of this, apparently, and they are working on fixing it. Uh, that fix cannot come soon enough. We are drinking here. They're not really able to deal any damage to me. And now we're just going to have to barrel away, unfortunately, to save my life. Just trying, once again, to buy time for the friendly heroes, the actual damage dealers on the team, to deal their damage. Unfortunately, we are now in a position where all of our structures are dead. The only thing we have remaining is our core, and it is losing health fast. Jumping in on the enemy Tychus now. Let's try to drink just to get enough for another jump. Jumping in on Vala now. The slow does land and she is going to be locked in place. However, she does do enough damage to our Tychus to kill him. Um, we're still in the game for the time being. I don't know how much longer though. Uh, we should not be worrying about this guy. He's just wasting our time. He's going to do like 2% core damage every life. That's it. Need to drink back up. So far, we've done 20,000 siege damage. We've soaked 61,000 damage for the friendly team. That means that the enemy team has targeted us for that much damage. Uh, and considering we only have 5,000 health and no supports on our team, uh, that's a pretty decent amount. So this guy's just going to keep respawning and trying to deal damage. If another mine phase starts, it's very likely that the enemy team is going to all in us. Yeah, he did 1%, 2%. So, I guess he's, his plan is to just sit there until the end of the game. That's what it looks like anyway. The Butcher found in the bottom lane. Is he going to charge in on me? Because I'm totally okay with that if he does. Um, not too sure. Not too sure what's going on here. It looks like they're being very careful. Which I don't know why. If you're if you're the red team right now, this is when you should be aggressive. This is when you should make plays happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, we are stuck in defending right now. The mines are opening. We're going to go down into the mines, and they're going to backdoor us. Get ready to be. In fact, I don't even think we can go into the mines. I don't even think we can. Our core is under attack right now, and no one's doing anything about it. Under attack by catapults. Looks like Tychus is staying... Uh, I'm going to go for, you know, the big the big skull spots. Of course, they're already here. We are going to go for Hardened Shield, which is going to reduce the damage we take whenever we pop the ability. And somehow, we are already behind on skulls. Hopping in here on the Butcher. Yet again, you can see that my Q did not apply the slow, did not deal damage, did not pop me out on the other side of the character. Everything it's supposed to do, it did not do. Tychus now leaving the mines. We are going to follow after him and hopefully take him down. Yes, we are. All right, Tychus, don't let me down. We are going to pop Hardened Shield. That's all I could do because I messed up the combo. I tried to drink first and then Hardened Shield. You should not do that. You Hardened Shield first and then drink. That way you have a bubble and you have the damage reduction. Is Vala coming into the mines? Is Vala coming in? Is Vala coming in? She was right by the door. The enemy team actually not all inning. And Oh, here they go. Here they go. Here she goes. She was waiting for the mercenary camp. I was about to say, they're not all inning. They're just kind of letting their merc camp do the work. Uh, we can keep her back, at least for the time being. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. Stop it. <laughs> all right, going in. And again, the kick did nothing. Did not bring me through the character. Did no damage. Did not apply the slow. 
A lot of people have been asking me why I haven't been playing Chen. That's the reason why I haven't been playing Chen. I do love his skill set. I think his resource management stuff is pretty cool. I like the fact that he is super duper tanky. Um, even with a build that can be focused on offense, he's still super tanky. Again, I did nothing there. That was actually the auto attack of Zebro that took her off her mount. Just that bug alone is very, 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 very frustrating. Uh, because you do not do a lot of damage on Chen as it is. All of your damage is coming from your Q ability, and it's not even reliable enough to actually land all of the time. Uh, it, it gets old quick. We're just going to shield our Rainer here. Hopefully that'll be enough. It sure was. All right, and we've wiped the enemy team. Now, honestly, what we should do is just try to dive into their structures. Uh, looks like our Rainer's going to stand in stuff and is going to be taken down. We're just going to kill the enemy Murky. Uh, catapults are more important than murky. A lot more important than murky. Unfortunately, this isn't looking good for us as the enemy team did once again kill the giant and force us into full-on defense. This is an 84 Skull Golem that is going to be wrecking our core. Not much we can do about it. Let's let's put this guy, let's put him in the corner. Uh-oh, Tyke is now joining in. Uh, we do get interrupted by Tychus with his grenade. I hope he tries to focus me, because I'm totally fine with that. There's the hardened shield. We are taking 75% less damage. Let's just hop in here, try to run distraction. We're obviously not going to be able to deal enough damage to kill this thing. I was trying to make a window for the team yet again, uh, but it didn't quite work out. So like I said, not surprised we lost. Um, Chen is a great character. Uh, his abilities are really good, and when he is strong, He's very strong. The problem right now, and the problem we've had for a while, is that quite simply, your number one damage source doesn't connect with your target in most cases. Uh, which is sad, because he's a very, very fun character. Uh, like I said, in most cases, you would go for the Storm, Earth, and Fire, again, to increase your damage output. Uh, you can also do a lot of body blocking with this. Uh, but, once again, the problem, you're not dealing damage, so if you go for the Wandering Keg, it's very situational. I picked it because I thought it would be better under these circumstances and then didn't use it very well. But again, the Storm, Earth, and Fire, you can body block and deal more damage with it. And you don't have to rely on your buggy Q as much. But that's it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it was a loss. I was expecting a loss. Uh, that's not to say I didn't try. But when your main damage dealing ability is bugged, it's kind of hard. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all next time. Hopefully I can edit out that lawnmower thing. Maybe.